Hey, what's up car enthusiasts and welcome back to my channel. If you are as passionate about cars as I am, I'm gonna tell you right now, you are in the right place. Now, before we jump into some VADCOM and VCDS content, do me a favor, show me some love by smashing that like and subscribe button, as well as turn those notifications so you can be the very first one to get the newest content on my channel. So with that being said, let's dive in today's video and see what it's all about. So in today's video, I will guide you through the process of disabling the MMI lockout functionality while on a move using VCDS. Now this neat little trick is going to lift restrictions on the MMI functions, making them accessible to you while the vehicle is in motion. So with that being said, let's get to it. First, you're gonna click on select on the main screen. Once the next page loads up, then you're gonna select 46 central convenience. Once this page loads up, then you're going to select coding. Once the next page loads up, you're going to select long coding helper. Select yes. Then you're going to type in 35 for the byte. And then to make this selection, bit zero is going to be checked off, meaning that it's active. Then you're going to close out of this window. Select do it. Then you're going to select OK. Give it a second so everything loads up. Then select close control or go back. Go back. And there you go. That's it. And there you have it. I just showed you how to disable the MMI lockout functionality while the vehicle's in motion using VCDS. Now, I hope you found this information valuable and you enjoyed the content. On that YouTube, that's it for now. Until next time, take it easy.